episode 51. Youth Academy Hero Skull and Thorp. Uh, let's have a look at the results. So we left off here. 1 0 win against Travis and Sport. Since then, beat United in the FA Cup. Beat Liverpool away. Murdered Monaco. Don't know how. Beat Brighton, barely, in the FA Cup. Had to go extra time for that. Was not enjoyable. Um, very, very, very nerve-wracking experience, that. And today we play Monaco in the second leg of the round of 16. Yes. So if we win this game, we're through to the quarterfinal. Well, I'm pretty sure we can't screw up a seven goal lead um, so we're, we're through to the quarterfinal essentially which is awesome stuff this is also one of two episodes that will be coming out today which is Sunday I'm not recording this on Sunday but it will be out on Sunday so yeah Not too many changes to the team. That looks good. Let's get right into it. I also, I forgot to mention an idea that I had in the last episode. I was thinking about this last night. Um, dynamic, like, overall changes from season to season. Like, I know dynamic potential is a thing now, but the, what I'm talking about is different. Like, like for example, Say you take a team, like Scunthorpe, right? And in the context of my currency, I have a very, I have a below average Premier League team. And say you take this team and you win the league, right? I feel like the overalls of your players in the next season should be boosted a little bit proportional to how far below average your team is. Like, and another thing that could happen is like players that win like personal awards, like Golden Boot and stuff. If you have a below average striker who's banging in goals, I feel like the next season, should they win Golden Boot, they should have a slight attribute bump in their like finishing stats to reflect the fact that they are playing above what the stats would suggest like you know what I mean I feel like that'd be cool I know it's too late for FIFA 21 but something in FIFA 22 that'd be so great because that would help like that would help make youth academy careers a little more viable so like when you do have a youth academy player like Thomas Quinn Thomas Quinn bangs in goals for me but he's only a 77 but if he were to win the golden boot with my idea like, that could boost them up to, like, maybe a 80, 81, depending on how much of a boost the stats get, which would be massive. And then if they underperform, the opposite could happen. Like, if you have a player who should be scoring X amount of goals, and they don't, then the fall off in attributes should be proportional to how far off they were from scoring X amount of goals. Like, that's just, it's just an idea. It's just an idea. Anywho, a fast start in this game. 1-1. One, one. Ricci scoring first and Monaco coming back six minutes later to equalize. Like I said, not stressed about this game. We, we're through. They're not scoring. They have to score seven more goals now to win out. They have to win this game out right now because they have an away goal. But I don't think that's going to happen doubt they're going to score 7 on me. Giovini on that right hand side is going to look to cross in towards Thomas Quinn who slots it past the keeper just barely keeper getting a leg to it but couldn't quite keep it out and that, that definitely wraps up this tie. They have to score 8 more goals to win 9-8 on aggregate. No wait, they have to score 
Nine goals to win ten nine on aggregate. My bad, sorry. Which is not gonna happen at all. But they will try. They will try nonetheless. Great through ball from Connor Dillon through to Thomas Quinn, who gets cynically taken down. That could be a sending off, and it is. Monaco now a goal down and a man down. And Ibanez will hopefully capitalize on the Monaco defender mistake, and he doesn't quite. I'm not sure if the keeper saved that or if it hit the bar. I think the keeper saved it because my controller would have vibrated anywho Wilson now coming forward Wilson with the shot deflection will be a corner and Scunthorpe boys taking this game right to Monaco not giving him a chance to breathe really Monaco do have a slight chance to break here didn't have any support with him move breaks down Ibanez is through Ibanez opens his body slots it in 3-1 Great counter-attack. Nice pass from Thomas Quinn into Ibanez and a great finish. Had to open up his body and shoot before the keeper got there. Just about managed to do so. Jika. Jika? Diot. Conan. Milo. Out wide to Diot. don't know why the Europa League games feel so easy like th these games feel ridiculously easy whereas in the Premier League I genuinely struggle to get results <laughs> sometimes but I haven't had a struggle like that in the Europa League yet and I might not ever depending on who we draw I don't even know who's in this competition still at this point Tackle by Anselmo. Monaco throw. Into Conan. Intercepted by Anselmo. And foul. Anselmo passes it down to Green. Connor Dillon. Quinn. Ricci on the turn. Finds Ibanez. Into Ricci. What's he gonna do with it? Finds Dylan. Plays it out to Fujishima. Back to Dylan. Into Thomas Quinn. Thomas Quinn now with a shot blocked. Monaco clear. Conan carrying it up the field. Finds Diop in some space. Milo. Retzos. Retzos. Martins, Milo, Sergeant on that right hand side, puts in a cross, intercepted, and Scunthorpe will come away with it, Phillips looking to start a counter attack, chip through ball, great chip through ball, will find Ricci, Ricci can't quite bring it down and shoot before the defender intervenes, and now Miguel finds it into Conan, back to Miguel, Jika, I'm gonna say Jika, that's what I'm, that's how I'm gonna pronounce his name, and half time, 3-1 lead at the break, looking very good for the Scunthorpe boys, 10-1 on aggregate, that's ridiculous, that should, like, that should never happen. <laughs> Fujishima into Giovini. Giovini passed his man. He's gonna look to bring it inside. Played across to Thomas Quinn, but it's intercepted. It falls to Wilson. Connor Dillon. Ricci. 
and it will be out for a Scunthorpe throw. Giovini into Dylan and gives it right away to AS Monaco and Diop running down the left hand side. Connor Dylan does well to track back and retrieve the ball. Good bit of link up play between Thomas Quinn and Ricci. Phillips has the shot. Good save from the keeper. Will be a corner. Ibanez whips it in towards Ricci. Can't quite pick him out. Monaco will clear for another Scunthorpe throw. Phillips. Giovini. Tries to find Ricci. Not quite. Thomas Quinn to have a finesse from outside the box. It's blocked. Keeper's not quite dealt with it, but the defender, luckily, is there. And Jika picks it up on that left-hand side. Once again, Connor Dillon's there to cover, but can he win it? Not cleanly. Referee signaling for the advantage. Conan. Good tackle by Giovini to... Recover possession for Scunthorpe and a good pass to Anselmo as well to get us out of that tight spot. Connor Dillon gives it away. Milo's down that right hand side. Tries to find the back heel pass, but maybe shouldn't have done that. I just got an invite to Apex. <laughs> nice. Okay. That's why I usually set my status to offline, or appear as offline, so that that doesn't happen. But, anywho, Monaco down that right-hand side, Diop trying to get on the end of the header, and Diop scores! Making it 3-2. And Scunthorpe a bit taken aback by that, that wasn't, that was definitely against the run of play. And Monaco have managed to nick themselves a second goal. And they're right back in this game, but uh, like I said, the tie. Pretty much already decided. Unless they go on an absolute tear and score, what, nine goals? Phillips, though, looking to make something out of nothing, but can't quite. Monaco look to build another counter. Finds its way to Martins. Ratsos. Martins with an absolute howl of a mistake there, giving the ball away. Quinn into Ricci. Ricci tries to find Connor Dillon, making the run. Not quite. Another Scunthorpe throw. Into Phillips. Dillon, back to Phillips. Phillips having a pop from distance. Well blocked by the defender. Rafinha. Dillon. Once again, not tackling cleanly. Referee signaling an advantage in Monaco's favor as they go down that left hand side. Conan on it. Easily dealt with by Anselmo. Quinn into Ricci. Ricci finding Quinn. Quinn has some space. He does surge into it quite well, and it is a foul. No card. But a free kick in a very, very dangerous position. McDonald will come on for Phillips. Phillips is absolutely dog tired. And Ibanez will look to curl this one in. Ibanez off the post falls to Thomas Quinn. 4 2. And with six, six, whoa, with eight minutes to go, roughly. This is surely the end for AS Monaco's Europa League hopes this season. And Scunthorpe will be through to the semi-finals of the Europa League. Milo on the ball for Monaco. Looking to make something happen. Carrying the ball forward. 
good tackle by Duenius Ruiz. For some reason, tried to find Ibanez across the field. Not quite enough power on the pass. But is intercepted, and Andone Zika's in now. He tries to find Andone again, but can't quite find its way past the defender in green. Good fight from Rishi, and a free kick is won because of it. Finds its way to Anselmo. Into McDonald, who is fouled outside the box once again. Another free kick in a dangerous location. Ibanez gets a third chance to capitalize on a free kick opportunity. Will he this time? No, keeper gets a good hand to it. Puts it out for a corner. Ibanez to whip it in towards Connor Dillon. Cleared by Monaco, and that should be that referee. Blow your whistle, son. There it is. Semi-finals for Scunthorpe. Absolute dream run we're going on. Top of the Premier League. Semi-finals of the FA Cup, and now semi-finals of the Europa League. We just might do a faux treble. Just maybe. It's definitely on the cards. I should have actually looked at that screen to see who was still in the competition. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We'll, we'll beat them. Doesn't matter who we play. We will win. Post-match interview done. And that will be that for this episode. Let's see where we will be back. One, internationals don't count. Two, three. We'll be back for the first leg against Sevilla. Ooh. That will be quite an interesting game, that. Oh, why did I say semifinals of the Europa League? Quarterfinals of the Europa League, sorry. That's going to be a good game, though. Should be. Should definitely be a cracker. And I will see you guys then. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the series so far. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.